Pokemon Chronicles is a charming roguelike game that offers a colorful, upbeat experience unlike any current game in the genre. Developed by Outer Grid Games, Crayon Chronicles started out as a three-day roguelike project that soon developed in into a full-fledged game. It took three years to complete and garnered help from a Kickstarter campaign that was successfully funded back in 2013. Crayon Chronicles is very player-friendly with clear and concise tutorials for folks that are new to the genre. It also caters back to roguelike veterans with a surprising amount of depth and detail given to equipment customization and stat placement. The story revolves around rescuing your friends who have been kidnapped by the swamp lord known as Stratos Lustrius von Donderbeek, or Strato for short. This involves exploring a number of colorful locations extinguishing the massive hordes of enemies that just don't seem to like you for some reason or other. The gameplay is relatively easy to grasp. You can only move one space up, down, left, or right. This constitutes a turn. You can equip a number of original weapons and items, from an owl on a stick to a stale oatmeal cookie, each with their respective stats or effects. Your goal is to clear out all of the enemies on a level, and proceed further on through the story. This is a lot harder than it sounds, for enemies, along with items and areas, are all randomly generated, meaning that while one room might be relatively easy, the next could very well be life-threatening and require planning to proceed. One of my favorite aspects of the game is that items picked up will always be put to good use. You've got your items that will regenerate some HP, as well as items that are meant to be thrown at enemies to cause more damage from a distance. You need your fair share of both types to survive a room full of powerful enemies, and it forces you to weigh your options carefully, which I really appreciate. Because enemies will move when you do, i.e. turn-based combat, you have time to consider the choices you have available to you whether it's as simple as rushing in and attacking everything in sight, or carefully sniping the most dangerous of enemies before they can hit you. You will also regain a small amount of HP whenever you enter a room, which opens up more strategic possibilities. I found myself on the spot a number of times when I was low on health. Should I fight my enemies and hope I came out the victor? Or should I go through more rooms, regain health, and take the chance at coming across an even stronger enemy, where I die a different way. When you defeat enough enemies, you'll be able to level up, where you will choose two of four stats to level up. Power, Dodge, Aim, or Luck, all of which have their own unique ways of affecting future battles with enemies. The audio and visuals of the game are quite possibly some of the most impressive I witnessed in terms of matching with the theme that they intended for it. Playing Crayon Chronicles takes me back to the good old days when I scribbled drawings on everything, created imaginary creatures with my trusty set of crayons, and used my wild imagination to just create amazing adventures. The music is perfect for setting up this type of mindset with children playing in the midst of the main track. Other tracks for the various areas are all unique and original, all of which instills a sense of adventure while you play. One of my favorite tracks is the one that starts up when you are low on health. All of a sudden, the tone changes to that of sheer urgency. It says, get going, kick some butt, or you're gonna be a goner. I have very few qualms about the game. You aren't able to save unless you intend to quit the game for a while, and if you die, that's it. The save is gone and you'll have to start over from the beginning. This fact annoyed me somewhat, but it makes sense for how short the game length is, which is about 2-4 to four hours. There was also a small issue with the graphics in the game being cut off if you play on full screen mode. Windowed mode is actually better, it seems. Though, it may be just that my resolution size is a bit off. Otherwise, Crayon Chronicles is a very good roguelike game, with a substantial amount of content and enough replay value to pick it up even after you finish the game the first time around. So give it a go. 
This is Bluebird Plays, and that's my review of Crayon Chronicles.